In this demo, we've used a simulation of national instrument modules. We used analog input, analog output, thermocouple signal modules, and a 4 milliamp, 20 milliamp current module to acquire signal measurements. All simulated modules were configured using a NIMAX application. With the initiation of the ReadyDAC logger, an any file is requested. The any file includes a couple of calibration coefficients for each of the 16 analog inputs, as well as preset values for the analog output control. After hitting run, the ReadyDAC logger starts to exhibit acquired signals. There are different options to view data in the ReadyDAC logger at the top and bottom of the screen. Analog input channel view is chosen. All analog input signals are shown on one graph and you can change which signal you see by checking and choosing relevant channels in the right bar menu. Meanwhile, you can see the average values of the acquired signals at the top of the screen. You can view the current signals by choosing current or you can choose the thermocouples view and then watch the measured temperature signal. In this case, the measured temperatures are from the simulated and I devices, and so the signal doesn't look smooth. You can also change the view at the top. Numbers is the default view at setup, but you can change it to compare or analog output config. AI compare. In this feature, two graphs of analog inputs are shown so you can choose which channels you'd like to compare. You can compare between more than one channel. Below the analog input view, you can compare three different analog output channels. Below, there is a service view. Here, you can choose which modules you'd like to use. In addition, you can choose the PWM frequency for the analog output, the sample rate, and the number of channels. You can find the main loop duration based on this sampling information. In this demo, the number of samples is a tenth of the sample rate, so the main loop duration is about 100 milliseconds. All average values are calculated in every cycle. By choosing the AO config view, you can see what values are sent to analog output modules. At the top of the screen, you can see a control bar. In this demo, the control bar was set to have five 0 volt, 5 volt buttons, four continues values, and one PWM channel. We can set up the control bar as well as any other part of the software according to your requirements. The values here will change once you hit the set button, and you can then see analog output signals sent to the analog output modules on the graph. In this example, you can choose which value to change from the on off or enable disable or open close buttons. To update the PWM output 0% to 100%, and change the five continues values for the analog output channels. Once you click the set button, the new configuration for the control bar is sent to the analog output module. Calibration information. If you use sensors, with linear response that connect to your analog input channels, you can write the calibration coefficient in the any file and exhibit the graphs and the measurements with the physical value set according to the coefficient factor for each channel, slope and offset. If you choose calibrated data instead of raw data, you can see their values along with the physical values. In this demo, we used a calibration coefficient of 10 channels AI 0 to 4 for a part of the channels and a calibration coefficient of 100 for channel 14. Once you save all acquired information, the calibration calibration coefficients get saved to the file as well. With ReadyDAC, you have the option to log all acquired signals in a file. You can save all acquired signals to a file by hitting save. Once you hit save, a pop-up asks you to optionally type test name, operator, and comments. This information is saved to the header of the saved file. It is definitely recommended to fill in test documentation information. In the data logger file, the average value of each signal in each cycle is saved to the file. The path of the saved file is shown in the upper part of the software. You can find the file locations by clicking Browse and seeing them in their folders. In ReadyDAC Data Logger, the data is written to the file every system loop. So in case you do a long measurement, a few hours or a few days, for example, and from some reason, the PC shuts down. All measurements up to that point are auto-saved to your file. As you can see, file size is updated in real time. While the ReadyDAC data logger is running, it is recommended to open the file with Notepad or any software other than MS Excel. You can open the file in Excel later by double-clicking it. The saved file includes a header and log data. The file header shows the date and time when measurements were carried out, in addition to the test name, operator, and comment if you filled them in, and calibration coefficients for every channel sourced from the any file. Below this, you can find measured information, which includes a time column and the logged acquired signals. The file is produced in Excel format, so it's easy to view and manipulate the data. That's all there is. We hope you enjoy using ReadyDAC Data Logger. Do purchase the software from our site, www.readydac.com, to get started. We're happy to help.